You know, I think I sound a bit more nasally today than I did yesterday. Thank goodness for the power of editing. Shut up! Greetings fellow Vita fans, this is James with PS Vita at 2am, coming at you once again with another exciting video. And if you're new here and love everything PlayStation Vita, don't forget to subscribe. What's that you say? PlayStation Vita sales already? It's only been like two weeks or so, and you're telling me that there's actually some new ones on the store? I think somebody over at Sony likes us. Maybe. Potentially. Possibly. We'll see. But there indeed be sales, so here they are for North America, Australia, Europe, the UK, Asia, and Japan. Starting off with, you know the drill by now, North America. And now for Australia! Today my pick for this first region is a special one! How does an RPG from Spike Chunsoft of Danganronpa fame sound to you? Oh, now I got your attention, huh? The title is called Exist Archive. The game is a side-scrolling Japanese role-playing video game similar to Tri-Ace's previous Valkyrie Profile series of games. Ooh, surely the cherry on top of my RPG Sunday! What, you can't picture it? In fact, we got a fun fact here. Many journalists consider it a spiritual sequel to Valkyrie Profile. The game involves the player following 12 youths who are killed by an explosion in modern day Tokyo. After their deaths, they find themselves on a fantasy like planet of Protolexa. There are three different endings based on the player's actions over the course of the game, and some actions affect the game's new game plus mode as well. Don't find that in the many RPGs these days now, do ya? Can recommend this series highly enough for those who want to get their role playing itch on, or niche on, or itch on. I'm feeling itchy. And let's mosey on over to Europe now. Oh, I think I hear the UK! Anybody else out there noticing a pattern with these sales, or is it just me? Yeah. The next game I have up for you is yet another twist, because I'm going to choose an Atome game, but, oh, but, 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 with RPG elements. Oh yeah, that exists on the PlayStation Vita. And you're gonna be glad it did, because this is Period Cubes. Shackles of Amadeus? I pronounce that like I actually didn't know anything. In search of your older brother's whereabouts, you join the online RPG Arcadia in hopes of discovering clues. Having lost consciousness after being drawn into a mysterious light, you wake up within the game's fantasy world. However, the only way to escape this world of life or death is to clear the game. As the game world begins to crumble and fall apart, you'll have to rely on your expending powers for survival. And you know, the usual RPG tropes are surely to follow. If you're looking for an Atome slash RPG that do things a little bit differently, then this one is definitely a win. Definitely. Definitely, definitely. Oh, and this game is available in English. I was just dumb and got the wrong Japanese trailer. Now let's move on to Asia. Oh look, here's Japan! 
Well, that was fast. Got a feeling that's not gonna last very long for that region. My final pick for this video goes to One More Dungeon, a game that's, well, nah, it didn't have anything to do with RPGs. I know, we were kind of doing a theme here, and then we kind of just got derailed all of a sudden. But it's, um, almost just as good. One More Dungeon is a first-person shooter roguelike adventure game with particularly generated levels and pixel art graphics that I'm pretty sure is going to be more than a resemblance to Minecraft. So I guess in a way you could say that we got something pretty special here. Being a nameless adventure seeker, you have to get to the final level of the dungeon and destroy the enemies, which in this game are called obelisks, I think, which is being used by the forces of evil to invade the world. Jeez, take a shot for the how many times you ever heard that in a video game. Use a melee weapon, magic staff, and antique artifacts to burst your way through the hordes of enemies inhabiting a few game areas. Ooh, I think I got myself excited just saying those words. And yeah, this game is awesome. Oh, and just thought I'd let you know that the makers of this game are called Salty Snail. That in itself is really beautiful. Okay, we made it through this sales for this week. Uh, I forgot what I was going to say. Anyway, let me know what you think of these games, yada, yada, yada. And as always, fellow Vita fans, thank you so much for taking the time out of your day to watch this video. It really means a lot to me. Love you all, and I'll see you next time. The following video has been brought to you in part by all of these wonderfully generous people who helped make this content possible, including Reiko Starr, Neo Arashi, Matt Fox, Jace Bellerin, JR, Jared Hado, Richard Cruz, Buzz Sayin, Kevin Enright, E-Rock, Pierre Sterner, Heston Joseph, Jelle, Adam Theory, Aaron Swanson, Mario Cruz, David Ray, Skullshur Tugel TCG, Rodrigo Vera, Larry Anderson, Kyle Brooks, Joshua Williams, Adam Sondi, Ruben Gutierrez, Saul Ramirez, Hero Acer, BMF, and Phantom XRS. If you would be interested in supporting the channel, check the links down in the description below. I have numerous ways for you to do so down there, and you'll get your lovely portrait on this nice end screen. It's very... uh... I forgot what I was gonna say again.